Okay, so in the last session, what we did, we have created a few machine catalogs from the master image, right? And now it's time to publish those a machine catalog and applications to the end users, right? So to publish anything, what we required, we required one storefront server or a web page like web address so that we can share that web address to end users and we can ask users to log into that portal, enter your credentials, and after that, you will be able to access your virtual machines, right? So, but before publishing the virtual machines, what we have to do, we have to decide like, you know, as we have created two uh, machine catalogs, so we have to decide or we have to specify like which machine catalog is for which user, right? So here we have delivery groups. So with the help of delivery groups, what we can do, we can specify or we can assign particular desktop to particular user. So just click on the delivery group. Now click on the create delivery group. Click on next. <clears throat> so it will identify like how many virtual machines are available in stock to publish to end user, right? So far we are having two uh, machine catalogs which we have created earlier, right? So now at a time what we will do this time we will publish only single machine to particular user for a, for example only okay so simply uh, one is already entered there like the account simply click on next now it is asking like to whom you have to publish that particular machine right so we have to restrict the use of this particular machine to particular user right so just click on restrict use of delivery group Click on add user from here. You can add user to whom you want to publish the machine. So just type DS and click on the check name. We will use the same user. Click OK. So now this machine will be available for this user only, which is DS. Simply click on next. Now it is asking like if you want to publish any application for end user, you can do that. Just click on add button from the start menu wait for <coughs> it is searching for the virtual machine it is powering on the virtual machine in the meantime you can uh, go back to gen server and you will see it01 is getting powered on right now right why because we are publishing only single machine to single user which is ds in your case right so it is powering on go back to the previous screen and in some time, you will get all the applications what we have configured in this machine. You will get list of all the applications and from that menu, you can select like which application you want to publish to end users, right? So let's wait for this to machine to register <coughs> with the delivery controller. In the meantime, go back to Gen server. Click on IT01. Click on the console. From here, you will see what is going on. Okay, it is uh, powering on. So it may take some time to power on for the first time, right? Why? Because in the last video, we just created the virtual machines, right? And we didn't power on them. So it is configuring the things. It will go to the uh, domain, then apply some group policies. So in that way, it will take some time for a first time okay after that it will be smooth let's wait for it <clears throat> so what we have to do we have nothing to do here like you know we do not want to log in into those uh, particular machines right we directly assigning those machines to end users and after that user can use uh, their credentials to access the machines right so <laughs> wait for it
Okay, I think it's almost done now. Perfect. Go back to the DDC. In some time, you will get all the applications which is available in that uh, server machine by default. Why? Because we didn't uh, didn't install any additional application, right? So, for an example, for for the practice perspective, we will publish the default applications only, right? So. Let's wait for this machine to register with the DDC that is delivery controller. And as I told you earlier, uh, for the communication part, VDA client is uh, responsible to make communication between the virtual machine to the delivery controller. Okay, so here, as you can see, we are getting the list of all the applications, whatever is available <coughs> in our Windows Server a machine or the IT01 machine, right? So just scroll down and pick some standard application. Scroll down. Look for the uh, look for the uh, just uh, check the notepad. Again, scroll down. And look for the remote desktop connections. We will publish uh, those applications only, okay? So in a similar way, if you have installed Outlook or any other application, you can check from here, okay? Click OK. Now, click on Next. So now it is asking whether uh, do you want to publish desktop to end user or not, okay? So like sometimes we have some scenarios, like, you know, we have some client or some uh, like users or some <laughs> colleagues who are working in call centers or into the BPO, right? So for them, what we have to do, we have to publish some applications only. Actually, they guys don't require any desktop, okay? So actually, just suppose if the guys are using any particular tool for uh, calling prospective, right? Because the guys never use landline to make calls. The guys are using like BO wipe services, uh, like voice over internet services for uh, communication. So for the same, we have multiple tools like, you know, 8 by 8 or you know any other tool like Skype or Microsoft team even we can make call from Microsoft teams as well on cell phone. So uh, we sometimes we will get those kind of scenarios where we have to publish applications only there will be no requirement of desktop but for our testing perspective what we have to do we have to add desktop as well. Okay, so click on add. Now you can uh, provide any display name. Just enter your name here. Perfect. Description, if you want, uh, make it for IT department. You can mention into the description. Now, again, we have to restrict this machine to one user, right? So select the restrict desktop use for, not this one, this one. Add the user. So in a similar way, you can add user or you can add an entire group as well. It's totally up to you. Click OK. And again, click OK. Next. Here is a summary. Just enter the delivery group name for IT, purpa, IT department. Enter the delivery group name first. You can mention server for IP or whatever you want to mention. You can mention anything, but it should be identical, right? Like anyone can understand for uh, that particular group. We are publishing this machine. Click on finish. <coughs> so basically, with the help of delivery groups, what we did for one user that is Dimple DS, what we did, we published two applications. One application is Notepad, second application is Remote Desktop Connection, and we have published one desktop for this user. And desktop name is Dimple, what you have entered, right? So basically, we have published three things to end user. Two are the applications, and one is a desktop, right? So now, what we did, we published, right? So now, 
the point comes like how user will access those resources, right? So for the same storefront comes here, right? So now what we have to do, we have to configure one storefront server to provide <coughs> a web page to end users, right? So for the same, now we are going to deploy a storefront server. So now I want you to mount that ISO media to DDC only. What we will do, we will configure a storefront in DDC itself, okay? So mount that settings virtual apps and desktop ISO media on DDC only, okay? But in production, you will get separate machine for a storefront server as well, okay? Mount it. The ISO media. Or open the file explorer. I think it is already mounted, right? Just open file explorer of the in this machine. Yeah. <laughs> Launch it. Yeah, run it. So basically what we did, we have configured the delivery controller, we have configured the license server, we have configured the uh, like, you know, Citic Studio, then I'm not getting yeah so we have covered multiple things actually now it's time to create a storefront like a store or a address so <coughs> let's wait for it it will be little bit bulky why because we are configuring multiple things on single machine so sometimes it may take some time okay so So what we did, okay, <clears throat> let me share my screen guys to you. Otherwise you will get confused like what we are doing here. Okay, so Dimple, as you are very new to this infra, so just look at my screen. So what we actually did here, we have created this setup, like we have created the data center. In our data center, Active Directory server is there, SQL server is there, hypervisor is there, delivery controller is there, studio is there, director is there, license server is there, okay? So what we did, we have configured the entire data center. Now, what we have to do, we have to publish our data center to end user, right? So for this uh, purpose, we are going to deploy a storefront server. So after a storefront server creation, our right hand side part will be completed, means our data center is created now. Now we can create multiple virtual machines and application in our data center and we can directly publish all those machines to our end users, right? So that is a thing what we are doing now, okay? Now just share your screen again. So we have uh, configured delivery controller. We have created the machine catalogs, virtual delivery agent we have completed. Those uh, you know options are grayed out. Why? Because all those components already installed in this machine. So now we have to install storefront. So click on the storefront. So basically storefront is a web address. It is a web page, okay? So we are going to create one web page. So in Microsoft Windows, to create a web page, one service is very, very important, which is Microsoft Internet Services, like IIS. Accept the license and click on Next. So web server IIS or Internet Information Services responsible to create a web page in Microsoft Windows. Simply click on Next. So basically what it will do, it will install internet information services in this machine. Click on install. And after installation, it may or it will ask you to reboot for sure. So what it is doing right now, it is configuring the, not configuring, it is installing the 
internet information services and after reboot what we will do we will configure a storefront server with the help of iis <coughs> right and okay in the, in the meantime what i want from your side to uh, open google chrome in your physical machine so are you connected with broadband na? so just uh, type citrix workspace download because this is an application that uh, needs to be installed in every client machine. Click on the first one. And uh, download, click on the download. So basically, this is the application which is responsible. So uh, that 2209, you can download it. 2209 version for Windows. Click on it. I hope your internet is fine. Yeah, it's good. Okay. <laughs> Where dog is working? For whom? No, oh, sorry, sir. Actually, session is getting recorded. That is the only reason. <laughs> okay, so this is a, a client application. We need to install that application in every user laptop or desktop. So just install it on your physical machine. I hope so. It will not ask to reboot your physical machine. Otherwise, it will be time consuming. Okay, let's install. Click on start accept next next even you know no not required even a user can do that installation okay in the meantime go back to the ddc Wait, wait, something is not responding. Wait for it. Do not click here and there otherwise. Do one thing, just press window and D key together. Windows key and D key together. You will be on your desktop. Uh, not working, sir not working so wait for it wait for it is there any possibility for you to uh, you know uh, arrange some you know new generation hardware like you know ninth or 10th generation cpu it means if you can uh, it will be great actually otherwise we will continue with on this hardware as well uh, today i discussed with the mm -hmm. my vendor to arrange one CPU for me. Yeah, you know, if you can get a ninth or 10th generation, even 8th eight, eight generation, we will require, you know, for a smooth operations. Otherwise, you know, we can. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we have to continue work for VMware as well. Nah? So, VMware uh, set up always, you know, hardware hungry, actually, it will consume yeah, much thanks. memory. Just try if you can arrange, it will be fine. Otherwise, you know, we will, uh, we are good with 64 GB RAM as well. The processor core is only 4, that's right. Yeah, that is the only reason. No? But anyway, you are getting the things now, what we are doing, what we are planning. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. That's what I want. Okay, hardware and other resources, those are fine. We can arrange in future as well, right? So, but practice is very, very important. You have something to practice, that is good. Please do not terminate anything. It will uh, take more time to, you know, restart all the machines actually. Now, uh, try to reach uh, that DDC. If you can do that. Perfect, click on finish and restart your DDC. Yes, yes, click on yes. 
go back to the installation. Just check your hardware resources in your physical machine, the utilization part, open task manager. Okay, CPU is the problem, okay. Your memory is fine, 26, uh, like 41%. Okay, no worries. SSD is also fine. The issue with the CPU only. Okay, no worries, we can manage somehow. Wait for it. Uh, please keep this ideal DDC. Do not log in right now because you know our CPU utilization is quite high. So it will not launch a tech studio because you know it will not be able to initiate all the services. So wait for this installation to finish, then log into your DDC. Okay, do you have any laptop with you right now? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is the configuration of your laptop? It is also i7. No, no, I'm asking for the memory. Uh, 16 GB. So, I will let you know how to, uh, okay, so, after uh, this, uh, you know, uh, you know, we are almost to finish the data center deployment. After this, what you can do, you can directly install Citrix hypervisor on your desktop. You can do that. What you have to do, you have to uh, download one, uh, like, you know, you have to create a USB media from that ISO file and you can directly deploy that hypervisor uh, on your physical hardware in that way. It will be easy for you. And what you can do, you can install Gen Center application in your laptop and you can take access of Gen Server in your laptop only. And every component you have to uh, create on your hypervisor like delivery controller, domain controller, each and everything. You can do that, right? So click on finish here. Perfect. Uh huh. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Otherwise, we will not be able to. Okay. Do one thing. Uh, before restarting your physical machine, just uh, properly shut down each and every machine. Can I click on no? Do not click anywhere. Just go to your DDC, log in there, and shut down it properly. Same you have to do with your domain controller. Now go to the Gen Center. First, shut down that VM, IT01. Four shut down. Now, click on Gen Server 01. Wait for it. Now, shut down. Click on shut down. Now, go to the VMware. Workstation. And click on the hypervisor. Wait for wait for this for proper shutdown. Now re restart your machine and rejoin the session with your desktop. Okay. Yes. And I think you are also connected with mobile as well, na? so we will discuss mm -hmm. in between. Okay. Click yes now. So what we will do probably uh, from tomorrow or from a uh, day after tomorrow, we will continue uh, with VMware and I will uh, discuss with you uh, by tomorrow morning or after this call. Okay, for Citrix, uh, rest of the things, okay.
that we will discuss one on one and uh, i will guide you as you asked me on our whatsapp what you have to do i will guide you separately okay okay because in the afternoon i didn't got time to call you to discuss actually i was quite busy actually so no worries okay buddy so uh, give me a moment actually i've got a pop up for 10 minutes remaining so i'm terminating this call and i'm sharing a new invite to you guys and we will connecting in a minute okay because you know it will take some time so a uh, dimple what you have to do you have to power on all the machines okay and then you can join okay yes sir okay 